Hey everybody, welcome back to Jeremy's World 10 and today I have an another amazing RV to show you. Well, who am I might you be asking? Well, my name is Jeremy Johnson and I've been building custom RVs, vans, vehicles and all kinds of craziness for over 25 years. I would also say that I am one of the industry leaders when it comes to van and RV suspension. So today I'm going to walk you around one of the most popular, amazing RVs that I've ever seen. And I know so much about it because I own one just like it. So I'm really excited to show you all of the cool features in this Jayco 24B. So this coach is going to come in at 24 feet from the tail to the nose right here of the RV. So the RV is going to be about 27 feet overall. But what's really nice about this RV is not just one, two or three. There's like 10 things about this RV that I absolutely love. Starting with just the overall size. I feel like even in any parking lot, I can just park this. My family and I, we go down to the beach. I'm easily able to pull into a parking spot and hang out. Now, I'm going to also tell you one bad thing that I just don't love about this is the lack of storage as we go around this. Like it does have the storage compartments in it and this is going to be, it's actually locked, one of the bigger ones, um, but this just lacks the storage that most, that you really want in an RV. However, this one was outfitted by Weld Tech Designs and you can see that they did this killer spare tire mount on there because if you're searching for an RV, Understand this, most RVs these days don't come with a spare tire. So, you know, if you like going out and doing fun stuff, you're definitely going to want to have a spare. This also has this folding table in the back because it's one of those things that you never know where to put. There's just never a good place for that table. So, hey, why not just throw it on the back bumper? And then you're gonna have this box that has all kinds of storage in it. Like that is nice, especially if you have dirty clothes and muddy shoes and all that stuff, you just throw it in the box and go. Now, as I come around to this side, it's probably gonna be locked too. I'm gonna just have to get the keys and open this up for you. This is gonna be your only storage compartment. And it's just big enough to be able to put like a Blackstone grill, a couple of chairs, and then typically just the mat that you're gonna put out on, you know, by your entry door. So when you're getting in and out, you're not tracking all that dirt and everything in there. You do have one other small compartment. This is going to be for your electrical. This is going to be able to access your generator. And then you do have one more small storage here. Now, what you're gonna notice about this Jayco 24B is it's gonna have this giant full wall slide out that goes all the way down the side. And that's going to be really nice because this slide out opens up more than 30 inches to give you so much living room on the inside of it when you go, when you're just hanging out and camping. Now I'm gonna pop the hood because I love this engine. This has the 7.3 liter gas Godzilla motor in it, which just has a ton of power, a ton of torque. And if you're going to be towing, this is definitely something that is great. I tow a 20 foot enclosed trailer with a Razor or a race car in the back of it. And it just has no issues whatsoever. I'm gonna pop the hood. You don't get to see the whole thing because half of the engine actually is in the cab between the driver and passenger seat. Now, as we come up here, you're gonna notice something else that it does have this killer front bumper. This front bumper is gonna be nice. It's gonna give you a lot of front end protection. If you live in an area where you have a lot of wildlife crossing the highway, definitely something like this, even if your vehicle hasn't been lifted, like this one, this has um, a six inch lift kit on it. So you can see that the ground clearance on this is massive. I mean, my giant head, look at, I mean, there's just so much room on there. We're probably about 18 inches from the step there. So definitely a lot of room with this lift kit, but what's really great, we're going back to this. You can't even see it. It's all hidden underneath there but you just know that, man, when you drive this thing, just how great it feels. Um, 
I definitely like this engine so much better than the previous V10. Now I know some people are like, oh, I love the V10. For me, I felt like that was such a high revving engine that it was very hard sometimes to even like have a conversation. It was just loud. It reminds me of the 7.3 diesel that came in the vans where it was just like, it was annoying. I had that van, couldn't stand it, had to let it go. So many cool features. Now, I want to explain two things to you that I absolutely love about the Jayco. I should be getting paid by Jayco to do this. The first thing is going to be Jayco coaches are going to have a one-piece cap. That giant one-piece cap is really nice, and the reason being is as your coach gets older, a lot of these tend where the roof leaks if you don't do really good maintenance. My last coach sat at an angle, the front corner leaked, it was a mess, the whole thing came apart, it was a disaster, and cost me thousands of dollars to fix. So that is why another reason I went with the Jayco was for the pure fact that I loved having that one piece cap. Whether you do suspension on your motorhome or don't, the other really nice feature is I'm gonna come back here. We're gonna come back. But because this RV has this six inch suspension kit on it, look at this. This is another thing. If you have never done this, look at these brake line extensions or brake, these are the valve, air valve extensions, not brake lines, but anyways, air. So you're able to fill up your inner and outer dually tires. So that's what's really nice. If you ever know by the dash is gonna let you say, hey, dummy, you don't have enough air on your inside tire. You're easily able to go and do that. This is also has the blacked out hubcap, just gotten rid of the chrome ones, out of the black ones. But as we look all the way in back in here, you're gonna have to come all the way in here and see this rubber body mount that you have between the body of the coach and the frame. This is, Jayco is the only manufacturer that doesn't weld the cab of the, of the body, the RV, to its chassis. So what's nice about that is that's going to absorb a lot of the energy as you're driving down the road, allowing your coach to flex. And to me, that's really going to save the lifespan of your cabinets and your coach, not just wanting to break apart. Now, of course, having great suspension on there is another big plus, and that's gonna help a lot as well. Well, that's a lot of the features on the outside. However, there is something nice on here as well, is you're gonna see that you have this large awning going all the way down the side of it. And what's really nice, I can just press a button and that awning is going to go all the way out. Now, another nice thing that I absolutely love is I'm also gonna have my exterior light. So as I put my awning all the way out, you're gonna see that there is a light strip that follows the coach and that can be illuminated. Now here's another thing, that doesn't have to be out. So even with the re awning retract all the way in, you're still gonna be able to use that light and I think that that is nice. Well, we're gonna put this awning all the way back in and we're gonna head inside. That's, so see, there it is. You can still see the light is going to work. If I turn it off and on, of course it's bright, but uh, you get to still use your light even if the awning's in. That's a big plus. Another nice thing that I do love about this is it does have the outdoor speakers as well. So I can turn on the radio. I can have my music playing outside. That's a big plus. I'm hanging out under my awning, barbecuing, having a good time with my family. Definitely love it. So as we come into this coach, I mean, there's so many things that I'm gonna get into. So I really like the white in this. It's super clean and it's going to be that classic. It's also kind of distressed, so it's gonna give you that farmhouse-like look. You're gonna have a lot of counter space and one of the best things about it is I love having the dual sinks. You get into some RVs and they're gonna have only one sink. This is gonna have the dual sink option. You're gonna have your blinds. And another nice thing that I love is right here, you're gonna have your wireless charging so you can wirelessly charge your phone or you can push it and pop it up. You're gonna have a USB, USB-C and two outlets right here on your counter. 
and when you're not using it, you can just push it away and that's really nice. We're gonna come over to the cooktop. All right, here is my pro tip numero uno and these people have done it. So when you don't, when you're driving your RV, this goes down and it just, you're gonna hear this. It's annoying, it's the most annoying thing, just it doesn't stop. And the other thing is it will actually shatter. I've actually broken two of these things until I learned this. So you can see that they've put a towel in here in order to take up some of the space and pretty much cushion the glass. So now it will still lock into place, it bows it up, but now when you do this, you're not gonna get that noise and it's not going to break. So it doesn't matter what kind of RV you have, something to do, maybe you have a special trick, comment down below, let me know what your special trick is to keep this from being quiet. So you're gonna have your microwave, of course, that's great. And the other nice thing about this is I love all the pantry space and you're gonna have the slide out drawers in here as well. So this RV definitely has a lot of cabinets on the inside for being as little as it is. And now I'm gonna show you guys something else what's really nice in here that a lot of people don't consider is if I take up my cushions on my couch, I'm also gonna have, that should, oh, they screwed that in, they cheated. So here's the thing, take out the two screws that you have in this compartment right here and you have so much unused space in there that you can put additional thing, like I'll put bedding or things of that nature that I don't need to get to all the time. And you can do that with all of these. So if yours is screwed down, it doesn't need to be, there's all kinds of space underneath all of these cushions to give you more space for storage because that's the big thing when you get into a little RV like this, every inch of storage is going to matter. Right here. So lights on. So this is all gonna be on switches. There is no keypads, no electronics. So you may like that because there's less things that can actually go wrong in it. So we do have the slide out completely closed right now. And I wanna just look at how much room you still have in this walkway. Because a lot of RVs, when the slide is closed, you have minimal walking space. And even if you need more, you can even rotate the table to give you even more walking space here. Another thing though, I'm gonna tell you, like it is a little tight to get into the bathroom, but I mean, it's not, it's not that bad. I can come back into the bathroom. I'm gonna have my full size shower that I fit really well in, my toilet, my sink, everything I need. You know, I have all of my toiletries and I have like the max air fan to be able to get really good ventilation in here. My hooks, dude, I'm good, I'm ready to go. Nice size bathroom and a little, little motor home. Again, 24 feet. Now, you are going to have the bed that jackknifes out. So once this slide out goes all the way out, the bed folds over. It's also gonna reveal some very important storage space as well. So now it's time to put the slide out out and see how big this thing really gets. And that's nice. I can easily come up to the control panel. I have my extend or retract and I'm going to extend it. Now I'm gonna give you another pro tip right here, guys. Whenever putting your slide out out, you wanna do two things. You wanna make sure this has the fascia that goes around this whole slide out. You wanna make sure that the seat is far enough forward that it's not going to tear this fascia off. The second pro tip is as you come to the back, Make sure that the drawers are all the way closed as well because you can damage your drawers and the fascia as well. But what's nice is as I come back here, I'm like, hey, you know what? I'm already back here. I might as well use the rear control now to put my slide out out. I'm gonna have two different options as far as controls in order to do that. And as you can see now, how much room that this is really gaining, it's just getting huge in here and this is amazing. Wow, I mean, look at this. I mean, we're talking 30 plus inches of additional space in this motorhome. I mean, think about all the activities that you could do in here once this is out. And now keeping in mind that I am a family of six. We have four kids, our oldest being 16 and our youngest being five. 
and we do really well in this motorhome. The two bigger kids will typically sleep up on the top bunk. You know, the two small kids down here on the bottom, but there's a ton of room. I mean, I can completely outstretch my arms, and I mean, I there's no way that I'm even gonna be close to even touching, you know, unless tip to tip on my fingertips. Now I'm getting into this. A ton of room in here, and what I really like is this flooring. Because with a lot of motorhomes, any sort of dirt or debris on the flooring shows. And you can see there's some dirt going on over here, but it really just all kind of blends in. This farmhouse flooring, I think, hides a lot. And even if something gets spilled on it, yes, you wipe it up, but it's not the end of the world. So I love the table. You saw how the table rotates. As we come to the back of this, you're going to notice just how much space you have in these giant vanities. You're also going to have, it looks like they have a different ladder than what I have. Um, and this is going to go up for the front. Look at that. It actually has a hook and stuff. Completely different. My ladder doesn't collapse. But what I love about this as well is look at all this space that you're going to have under the bed. Ton of room. I can put a lot of big stuff in there um, that I want to just get out of the way, which is really nice. And I will tell you, even with my RV, we're running a ton of solar on it. And I was actually able to put all of my Lion Energy batteries and my whole solar controller underneath the back of this. Um, I'll have to do a whole nother video just talking about solar and the system that I did on there. I mean, it's amazing. I love it. I can be completely off grid with uh, 3,200 watts of solar, I think is what it is. Um, we have our refrigerator freezer, so you're gonna get the combo. So you're gonna get your freezer up top um, and that's the thing. So like on some of these, this does have the little latch. This is a Norcold refrigerator. Um, and you can see you're still going to get a pretty good amount of storage space in there, you know, for all of your food. Uh, personally, I love, so you're going to have your little baby drawer here. You know, if you want to put sponges, pens, remote controls, um, you know, all of your other things. Another really nice feature about this Jayco is it's going to have the latch on the bottom. I can pull that. And then this TV is going to completely swing out. I can bring this all the way out. So if we're laying up on the top bunk, if we're doing that, I can do that. I can hang out kind of wherever. Now, another upgrade that I'm about to do on my RV is it actually comes with a spot right here that you can actually mount a second TV to. There's backing in this wall and you're good. Excuse me. You're going to get the plug and stuff right here. So my goal, I want to put a TV back here. So when I'm just laying in bed, hanging out, I can watch TV. That's uh, another project that I'm going to do. And then when you're done, this whole TV, so when you're in motion, that locks all into place, so it's going to just stay there securely. Now, I'm going to tell you something that I absolutely hate about this RV, and it's probably one of the biggest gripes of this motorhome. As, as I'm sitting down here at the table and I just want to enjoy wherever I'm at, yes, I can open up the blinds and really get a nice view. But let's say I want some fresh air to come into my motorhome. Well, I get about two inches maybe of window being cracked. So now that we, like I don't get a nice cross ventilation like I did in my last motorhome where the whole window slid open, the screen would slide open. That was something that I really, really liked. All of these windows just crack open and I know they're supposed to be neat and look seamless and all kinds of stuff on the outside. But um, if you make windows or know something, I would love to hear you from you guys. But I know that this is something that I'm definitely going to be changing is my window here at the dinette. I want a big window that I can open up and get a lot more fresh air in um, in the motorhome. So that's one of my biggest gripes about these motorhome. I just I'm not a fan of these little like cutesy windows. Um, and not to mention, if you have them open, sometimes when you're driving, you get that slight whistling. It's kind of annoying. So let's talk about the driver compartment too. I feel like this is something that's going to be really nice. You're going to have this giant bed. This is definitely going to be nice. You're going to have additional lighting up there. And if you're not using it for storage or you're not sleeping up there, you're also going to be able to just flip this up and over. So if you want to be able to get in and out of, you know, the driver passenger seat, you're able to do that. Overall, the cockpit in this hasn't changed much. You are going to get the touchscreen. 
Another option that I really nice is when I go to my home screen and I go to my rear camera because the motorhome's not on, but I have that rear camera. If I wanna be watching like whatever I'm towing, maybe I have a car in tow, I can always just put on the rear camera and I'm able to see that. It's pretty minimalistic. I mean, I don't think that they've changed anything since 2010 when it comes to like the overall shape of the van or RV kind of front end, because essentially this is a van, um, except you know with the upgraded system there. Um, and then maybe just some of the cruise control features. Some of them are gonna have a more digital dash. Uh, this one's gonna have the basic one. You are gonna have some additional lighting up here in the, on the side, so if you want the lighting, and since the car's not on, it's not going to turn on. You do have USB charging up in the front, and a nice thing is, is both of these seats also do swivel, so you can turn these seats around. So if you are hanging out, you have multiple people in here, both of these seats do turn all the way around and give you a little bit more seating option in there. Man, I think I've covered just about everything. Of course, you're gonna have the generator on this and without having solar, you will have to run your generator for most of your outlets because it does not have an inverter in this as well or it has a small one, but not enough um, to run your AC or your microwave. So you'll have to turn your generator on to watch TV do things of that nature in this particular RV. Wow, there's so much to go over. We think we covered it all. This is a Jayco 24B, and um, I would love to hear what you guys think of uh, this motorhome. Like, could this be the perfect motorhome for you and your family? I mean, that's the big question. In our search for like the perfect motorhome ever, we're looking for that perfect 10 and maybe this is it for you. I would love to hear what you guys think in the comments below. Otherwise guys, this is Jeremy's World. I'm Jeremy and I look forward to seeing you guys in the future.